good morning dear friends myself ss sonigra today we are going to discuss about multi view representation of an object before starting this topic we would like to recall some basic concepts we discussed about orthographic views in orthographic projections we drawn front view top view and side view but in some cases where the objects are not symmetrical in those cases it's needed to draw more views other than these three views and at that time multi view representation is needed because in non symmetrical objects its front view and rear view will be different its both the side views may be differ its bottom view and top view may differ and hence in case of some objects multi view representation is needed and today's discussion will be based on three aspects first is the difference between uh, the first and third angle projection methods and positions of six views second topic methods to obtain views and third multi view drawing all six views from given or asymmetric object or physical object and finally we will discuss about the convention of line precedence of line which kind of line should we draw and when in multi view representation the object objects are drawn with three views front view top view and side view in some cases all six views of object are drawn this is called multi view representation so this is the definition of multi view representation suppose this is an object if we think about this object this object is a symmetrical about two axis vertical axis along which passes through the axis of these two holes and another axis which which passes through between these two holes in this plane so in this kind of object two views are enough to draw its front view and top view to show all the shapes here you can say this is the front view and this is top view with these two views we can imagine the shape of this object and majority of the dimensions could be covered in these two views so in this kind of object it's not needed to draw multi view because with front view and top view we can express all its components like two diameters these are the two diameters this is a hole which is inside this face this is a t shape object in front view now what is multi view project projection suppose this is an object the object is having mainly three dimensions width depth and height width and height is shown in a front view depth can be seen in side view as well as in top view like this so for this object three views are there front view top view and side view now if we draw other three views it is called as multi view projection to obtain multi view representation of an object three methods are there first method is to revolve the object with respect to observer the observer will remain stationary but the object could be revolved along its viewing side the second method is the observer move around the object observer will move towards its front side towards its top side and side view and it could be drawn and the third method is glass box concept we will use all these three one by one the first is this revolve the object suppose this is an object and we have to revolve like this like this towards us so this is the front view as could be seen here second is revolve the object like this so this is right hand side view and third is this revolve this object like this and this is the top view of the object so here the person who is viewing the object remains stationary he remains fixed but the object is revolved so this is front view right hand side view and top view are achieved now second method observer move around the object here you can see the observer is here he is seeing the object from this direction 
so this is the plane of vision and this face square rectangular face will be visible to him like this this would be the square or it may be rectangle then this face would be visible to him so this will be the front view so obje observer is looking from this direction he will see this object like this here this reverse l shape portion this area as well as this area will not be visible because this area is coincided with this line and this area this reverse l shape is coincided in this vertical line so in front view this shape would appear now to draw its side view let the observer move from here to here on this direction and he will see the object object so shape of object will appear like this from right hand side view to this observer this shape only would be visible now in top view the observer is moved to the top side and he will be able to visualize this object like this so this will be the shape of the object if observer is looking from top direction so this is a top view so these are three views front view right hand side view and top view observer is moving around this object so this is second method to draw views of an object now third that is glass box concept in this concept we assume that the object is lying inside the glass box it is lying inside the box made up of glass and all views are to be drawn on all faces of the glass like this in front view this is the shape in right hand side view this is the shape and in a top view this is the shape now we assume that this is the box which is made up of a glass and it can be opened so we made like this we open this face in this direction like this the upper face like this and rest all faces like this so there are six faces of glass box hence six views are there this is front view left hand side view right hand side view bottom view this is top view and this is rear view and in this this is the representation in third angle projection method so six views are there which is made up of a glass glass box so this is the third concept history this we had seen earlier six views are there of this object it could be drawn like this front view si two side views top view bottom view and rear view here you can see in between this front view and rear view one difference is there that is this line this line is full line and this line is dotted line because this face will be would be visible in front view only in in a rear view this will not be visible hence it is drawn as dotted line similarly its two side views are identical but just the mirror image of each other because the object is symmetrical about one axis so when the object is symmetrical about any axis its two views would be identical suppose this is right hand side view this is left hand side view so both are mirror images of each other similarly its top view and bottom view would be identical but just one difference is there that is this line here this line is fully visible because in top view this edge would be visible and in bottom view this line is not visible so it is drawn by dotted line because it is not visible in bottom view if you look from the bottom side this corner and this edge and corner will not be visible hence it is drawn by dotted line so this is multi view representation of a given simple object here two views are symmetrical right hand side view and left hand side view its front views and rear view are differ by one line and top view and bottom view are also differing by one line so this is the name of this views the height of this object will be identical in front view two side views and rear view like this its width this is the width it will be identical in front view top view 
and bottom view as well like this similarly its depth would be visible like this in top view in side view as well as in another side view so these all would be identical so these are the three dimensions of the object width height width height and depth this is an isometric view of an object this is isometric view having some surfaces now how to employ glass box theory to this object to employ glass box theory to this object let we assume that the object is inside a box which is made up of a glass and we look from its front view its top view and its side view so this is an arrow which means that we should draw its front view from this direction so when we are looking from this direction this rectangular portion will appear this portion this face this face would not appear in front view it will be coincide with this line similarly this half circle and this portion would be appear in this direction but this face will not be visible similarly this portion will be visible in front view and this side will coincide with this vertical line so it will not appear so this is the glass box theory for given object the object is put inside a glass box if we look from front side here it will appear like this if we look from this side it will appear like this so this is front view if you are looking from this side this lines would appear like this this is the front view this will be the rear view or it it's it, it is also called as back view if we look from the top side to this object it will appear like this you can see here this cut portion will appear in top view only and this semicircle would appear as two lines or rectangle like this so this is the box theory for given object and six views are there this is front view back view or it is also called as rear view this is top view bottom view left hand side view and right hand side view here we can see that top view and bottom view both are differing just by one line this line this is here this is dotted line and here it is full line similarly in side view also here dotted lines and full line is only the difference and in front view and rear view also single difference is there that is about visibility of lines this line is full line this line is full line and here this line and this line both are dotted line because it will not be visible or that corner that edge will not be visible in that particular direction this is an object and these are six views it should be drawn like this front view should be drawn at the middle left hand side view should be drawn to the right side of the front view and back view or rear view to be drawn over here top view is drawn below front view and bottom view is drawn above this front view right hand side view is drawn to the left side of this object here this drawing is made as per first angle projection method so in first angle projection method the bottom view is drawn above front view and top view is drawn below front view which is opposite in third angle projection method if you want to draw the similar object in third angle projection method the front view will remain over here the change will be there in top view and bottom view but top view will is to be drawn above front view and bottom view is to be drawn below front view left hand side view is drawn over here to the right at, at the place of right hand side view and right hand side view to be drawn at the place of left, left hand side view so if we alter these two views and this back view to be drawn over here nearby left hand side view then that method to be uh, to be said is third angle projection method but right now in india we have adopted first angle projection method so this drawing is made in first angle projection method in older drawings or in older book older books you may see 
the method used is third angle projection method before implementation of is standards the third angle projection method was used right now also in uk countries third angle projection method is employed in some drawings this is the symbol to show the projection method here the first angle projection method is employed so symbol of first angle projection method is drawn here in this symbol it itself indicates the uh, position of the view suppose this is an object or cut of frustum and if you look from this side that is left hand side then it will appear as two circles over here so these both the circles are drawn full hence the left hand side view is drawn to the right side of the front view so it, it is first angle projection method similarly if i alter the position of these two circles from here to here means first i draw two circles and then after this first term then that is the symbol of third angle projection method this is the glass box theory which is employed to another object the object is placed in a glass box like this this is an object the sides of the box represent the principal six planes six planes are there right this is one plane 1 2 3 4 upper and lower so six planes are there and to employ the glass box theory this is a glass box we draw all its views like this image of the object is projected on the sides of the box like this the image of this view to be projected on this face so it will appear like this if you look from this direction here two squares would be there this is the square this is the square and this curvature shape this semicircle will appear like this in this projection view similarly this face would be visible over here if you are looking from top side here its top view would appear like this a u shape like this it will appear like this this upper portion will appear like this and this taper portion will appear like this so this is top view similarly if you look from this direction this will be the view this rectangular shape would be visible from here so this is full line 